Welcome back to Simsters. Uh, we are, once again, with the very first house I made. This is technically our ninth visit to Housebriar. And of course I log into them and find out that they're both skipping work. So responsible. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you saw the last uh, visit with Housebriar, after like eight plus years, they finally consummated their marriage, so we'll see if they finally, finally, end up with heirs, even though their house has been around longer than the houses that already have heirs. There's five I've made so far, and Brooke has had three, or they had triplets, two boys and a girl. Uh, Dryland has had a boy, and Brown Hill had a boy and a girl, I believe, who are still newborns. I believe Brooke's triplets are children now, and Dryland's son is a toddler, and Brown Hill's babies are still babies. But anyway, um, so, we'll see if Briars finally get into the game. Even though they're the house that I made first, they're kind of pretty slow on the draw. <laughs> we'll see how it happens. They both have jobs now, obviously, and uh, what's going on here? Eleanor has been working relentlessly on an article. Ten minutes before she posts it online, a co-worker posts the same article. Skip them back. She's a noble. They're all entitled. Of course they're going to do that. Eleanor's co-worker is angry with her, but they won't tell anyone because they know Eleanor would tell on them. Performance gain small. And now I did um, increase the game volume a little bit, so if it's too loud, let me know. It's very, like, one notch I increased it. But anyway, uh, they're both home now. She made 150. He made 245. She needs to go to the bathroom and eat. So, welcome back to House Briar, everybody. <laughs> so, anyway... Of course, somebody left something out to spoil, as usual. But, um, so, they've been together for a while. Like, 115 days or so. <laughs> She's a young adult. He's an adult now. She's got lovely traits. The only one that's actually okay is Loner. Jealous is okay if it's realistic, but Sims Jealous is not realistic at all, so it's kind of annoying. Um... <laughs> She's got 11.30 for this. I usually don't get them any, um, why is she carrying around so much food? But I usually don't get them any rewards until everything's full. And why is this me here? So, not quite sure why that's in there. <laughs> she made a sack lunch like three, three years ago and it's still in there. Alright. I don't know why she's carrying around all this other food. That's the journal, because she kept whining that she wanted to write in journal, because she's always tense because of her jealous trait. What does she have in cooking now? Four. Hmm. Slowly getting there, dear. Chips and salsa. At least she won't set the house on fire with those. They've already burned up the stove at least once that I can recall. But anyway. Well, eat your food. Don't just stand there and look at it. I don't know why they like doing that. <laughs> Alright, let's check on him while she's eating. Oh, he's fine. He's just fine. Alright. So, she got a job in social media. Because that kind of sounds to me like socialite. Which is what the noble ladies kind of are. <laughs> so, so, she needs 100 followers. She's got 85. She needs to reach a little three in comedy or mischief. And or update her status. He's got everything he needs to do. His daily task, of course, but that's not really that important. Okay, and weren't you fine a second ago when I checked in you, buddy? But anyway, let's get back to her. I usually play the girl. I do check on the guy and play him when the girl's asleep or at work or whatnot. Now, um, we still need... Let's see, I think we got the club full now. But we're still going to throw somebody out next time I make a new house, because there will be more houses. I just have five currently. But, as you know, if you've watched the channel, I've also been doing the Asylum Challenge and the Orphanage thing. So, I've been jumping around a little bit. Start a club gathering. Buy a toy. Try to calm yourself down. And I don't let them buy toys until they actually have kids, because, um, logic. <laughs> Start a club gathering. I guess they can do that. Let's see now who all's in the club. We've got Lady Dryland, Lord Brownhill, Lord Dryland, of course Lord Briar, Lord Brooke, 
Eleanor, Lady Briar, Lady Brooke, and Lord Holt. So anyway, on we go. Like I said, it took them almost nine years in Sims time, <laughs> but they finally consummated their marriage autonomously, because I always let them do that autonomously, because I don't like forcing things to happen like that. It's like, I have them set to do that autonomously, and I have them set to have free will, so might as well use it. Of course, she's having fits about doing dishes. Ask Avalar about his day, buy a toy. So what is her Avalar status currently? Um, lovers. To be in love is a beautiful thing. Hmm. Okay. I think they've only been the other one so far. I think. Mm, yeah, once. But oh well, it's a start. A very, very slow start, but it's a start. Okay, what are you doing, Chicky Chick? Oh, she's doing that on her own. Wow, cool. I didn't know they did that on their own. Eleanor gained few followers while updating her social media status. Eleanor has gained 20 followers. She now has 105 followers in total. And she needed a hundred, so now she just needs to improve her comedy or mischief. I didn't know they did that autonomously. That's pretty cool. All right, tell a joke. Well, I guess we'll tell Alison a joke. I believe her kids are actually children now. So let's see. watch TV any old time. Might as well talk to the people while they're here. Yeah, normally I don't let, I don't tell them to do a lot of things. Unless they're not doing anything or if it's something they don't generally do on their own. But I figure since there's actually people here for once. Ask Apple about his day. Mm -hmm. Alright. She can do that after they leave though. So just let's see what unfolds. But yeah, those two are the ones with the triplets who are now in grade school, I believe. I haven't actually been back to the house since their kids were born, because I've been jumping all over and playing other houses, so... Alright, so they have 4325. They actually have enough money to pay their bills for once, so that's a plus said once they had about 10,000 saved up, I'd probably get them their butler again. But I believe I did sell all the stuff in the basement. I still have their pool. Yeah. Um, servants' quarters are cleared out, though. Yes, this is the biggest house. This is the first one I made. It's the biggest. These are the servants' quarters. I cleared those out when they needed money. So might eventually get those back in order. I was also thinking about possibly making a guest bathroom for them. My other houses have guest bathrooms, so I might do that. So, I suppose I could do that now, but I think I want to wait till their bills come, just so I can refresh my memory on how much their bills are, because it's been a while. Oh jeez, okay. That's exciting. <laughs> anyway. Oh my. So yeah, I'm thinking about building the guest bathroom and then redoing the servants' quarters that I got rid of before. Just wish I could remember how much their bills are, because they're pretty high, because this is the biggest house. There's three floors. I just don't furnish it until it needs to be furnished. But yeah, I was um, watching the last video I posted on YouTube, which is Household, and Eleanor was being such a brat to everybody. I don't know what her problem was, but she was being a brat to everybody. So, we'll see if she starts acting up now that she's in her own house and such. I did, I did build a guest bathroom. Okay, so I did do that last time. See, I told you, I've been jumping around to so many houses. I'm just like, what did I do last? But yeah, um, 
So the next thing will probably, you know, assuming they don't have any kids before then, will probably be getting the servants' quarters back in order. I've got a stupid thing coming up on my other computer, so I'm like trying to get <laughs> get it off the screen. Yeah, I had a little message pop up on the screen of the old computer, which is how I watched the stream. So, anyway. Hug someone, ask Abel about his day. See, normally I just let them do whatever they want. But, when they hug people autonomously, for some reason, they don't get credit. It's very strange. Oh, well. But she's wandering over here now. To watch her cooking channel. So I'll just let them be until the club gathering's over, probably. They have so much food. I don't even know why she's carrying around all this food. Eight grilled fruit. Eight hamburgers. And two grilled cheese. It looks like she like went to a park and just like stole all the food or something. I don't know. stupid messages popping up on the little computer. Leave me alone. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so. Alright. Now since you're sitting right next to him, you might as well ask him about his day. I don't know why Friendly is now down at the bottom. It's weird. It's usually up at the top. So yeah, once the club gathering's over, maybe we'll work on their skills for their job, but usually I just let them do whatever. So, Amabel is not here. Hmm. She's the leader of the club, and she's not here unless she's, like, hanging out outside somewhere. So I haven't seen her yet. Amabel, are you hiding somewhere? I think it's the first time I've seen Andrew, too, so maybe they're just late. Oh, and now she's tired. Alrighty. It's nine. It's a little early to go to bed, but whatever. Let's see. Clickbait writer is what she does. Which is level three. She works nine to three. Monday through Friday. Alright, let's go check on his butt now. So, we're not going to the park unless we can get there without a load screen. Read a vampire book, ask Eleanor about her day. I don't even know if I ever got them their vampire book, honestly. Um, does not look like it. I guess I can get them that. Oops. I'm supposed to hit purchase vampire tomes. I forgot it's got its own category. He wants to go to bed. So actually the club gathering should be over now. Although we might be able to get a club perk. I think I was going to wait till we hit 750 so I could get any of them. So we'll just end the gathering for now. He's going to go to bed. And then once they leave, hopefully we'll fast forward. And now she's hungry. Of course. Of course. Couldn't have been hungry before she went to sleep. That would have made sense. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like Andre and Andrew showed up really late. It looked like Amabel didn't show up at all. Alright, why are we not fast forwarding? Is there still somebody here? The game's just being annoying. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Zayden Anand is aged up to child. Braylon Anand is aged up to child. Colton Anand is aged up to child. See, everybody in town's got 5,000 sets of triplets and twins. She's up at 1.15 a.m. That's great. But yeah, I did um, I did lower the um, pregnancy chance in town because it was getting a little ridiculous. I had to constantly keep going to the NPC houses and dividing them up. Of course, now I have the um, max household limit set at 25 because of my orphanage game. Um, or orphanage house, whatever. But um, yeah, I had to keep doing that because they had all had like millions of kids. It was a little ridiculous. 
Okay, so we got the guest bathroom built. So, the next order of business should probably be the servants' quarters, but like I said, I want to wait until. I was just seeing who made that. She stole that from a park or what? But I was going to wait till we saw the bills are first. Alright, so she wants to watch World Culture Network and she also has to get comedy or mischief. But I don't really sit there and slave drive them about their jobs. Because it, I have really long lifespans on them and it'd be kind of ridiculous if they got like 50 promotions in a month. <laughs> yeah, I was watching some simmer who was saying, I've been at this job level for three days, it's time for a promotion. And I'm like, Try that in real life. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I know, it's like, when most people play with like the super short lifespans. I I hate the short lifespans. I'm just like, what's the point if you're just gonna delete them, or not not have the characters for more than a few days? That, that actually reminds me of the one thing that I hated the most about The Sims Medieval. Um, other than the fact that they wanted you to do quests and you couldn't actually play the game, you couldn't actually play Sims in a Sims game. You had to do the quests. But the other thing that bugged me about um, Sims Medieval is that once you finished all your goals, they're like, okay, you have to delete this character and make another one. I'm like, what? It's like, the only reason I even finished all these goals is so I could actually play the character. <laughs> so, yeah, Sims Medieval was not my favorite game in the franchise. But anyway, um, do an impression for someone. And I love medieval stuff. But, yeah, it was just... It was ridiculous the way it was set up. Yeah, turn on comedy, get your comedy skill up. So she's got one in comedy, one in mischief, and she needs three in one of those. And there's really nothing else she can do right now. Since it's too late to invite anybody over, we're not buying toys for kids that don't exist, and he's asleep. So, fast forward while she gets her comedy up. And once she gets to comedy 3, she'll be pretty much good to go. Although she's going to be dead tired tomorrow. Because she got up at 1.15 and she's not even remotely tired right now. What are you doing? Alright, I guess that'll get your mischief skill up. I was going to work on comedy, but if you'd rather do mischief, honey. Yeah, I got this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, though. Rocking the purple speedo again. Okay, Abelar. We just had a club gathering, darling. Um, alright. Let's get him to eat and then see what they do. Now that they're an official couple after almost nine years. Actually, they've been together longer than that now, but it took them like... Going by my lifespans, it took them like 80-some days, which is like eight... Eight plus years. <laughs> so, a little weird. He's fine. Let's go back to her. And we'll just see what they do. Because she's working on her stuff for her job. Or at least she was. But now they're both awake, so we'll just let them chill and see what happens. Because I know, everybody wants all the Sims houses to have millions and millions of babies. My, my orphanage uh, series was the answer to that. Since every Simmer on the planet but me... Loves just popping out babies after babies. So I decided to do it all in one one series. The orphanage. Now these well, the girls are 35, 20. Nice. Yeah. Um but yeah. I mean other houses will have babies, but I decided to just go overboard with orphanage because that's what everybody wants to see. Lots and lots of Sims babies. But yeah. All my other houses that have had babies, I'm six six babies have been born in five houses. And all of them were conceived autonomously. So, yeah. <laughs> 3520, that is a lot for bills. Especially since the house isn't even furnished. So yeah, it might be a while. <laughs> it might be a while before we get that butler back. Because we did have a butler for a while. But we had to get rid of her because we couldn't afford her. Alright. So you're going to do something on your own? Do I have to tell you to do an impression or flirt? I don't generally tell them to do social things that often. Occasionally, yes, but not that often. Because I figure they'll socialize on their own, and I don't like 
forcing people to socialize. Like, I wouldn't want people to force me to have to talk to somebody. So, I would talk to them if I want to, and if I don't, I won't. End of story. So, uh, I'm trying to figure out, let me go. Um, it's gonna freeze real quick here, because I wanted to check for what time I started. Okay, I started like 20 minutes ago. So, like 6.30. So, I'm gonna maybe go till 8.30. Maybe. Alrighty. I was compulsively watch the door since you can't ever hear when anybody's at the door since for some reason we can't have the Sims 3 doorbell in Sims 4. Still a little irked by that. But anyway. Now we'll practice speaking. Well, she won't do that on her own, but we'll let her do whatever for now. I had to change her hair a while ago because she had the exact same hairstyle as Aegon. <laughs> and it was annoying me. Because I'm like, in the little itty bitty thumbnails, it was really hard to tell who was who. Yeah. So she's got to be at work in four hours. Don't remember if this is his day off or not. No, he works today too. He's off Tuesdays and Fridays. So he goes in two hours, she goes in three hours. Uh oh. Here we go again. Here we go again. I love how they did the little school cheer thing, or whatever that <laughs> is. <laughs> Somebody actually made a mod so they don't do that motion. Because it's kind of silly. Alright. Well, they're not trying for a baby, but um, you probably know if you've seen my previous vids. Um, my mod has it, you can set what chance of pregnancy there is during regular woohoo. So even if they're not trying for a baby, there's still 15% chance. And you can set that to whatever you want. I just set it to 15 for regular and 50 for try. Because fertility clinic clinics wouldn't exist if you could just have a baby because you decide to have one. <laughs> so, like I said, I realism. Realism is what I go for in every single Sims game. I don't know why they insist on doing this fast forward thing all the time. And I hate hate, hate, hate the pixelization, so I always make them put their clothes on afterwards because I freaking loathe the pixelization. Okay. Uh, I can't see your outfits. Not that it really matters, I suppose. Just put them in that one. I don't know. You need to go to the bathroom too, buddy. Yeah, I hated his previous version of that outfit. I had to change. I had to change it. Because it was kind of horrible. I had like some pink capri shorts or something on. I just couldn't tell that. I always save after that because you never know. Now did these little zigzaggy lines around the phones exist before? Because I didn't notice them until the last time I played this. Maybe I was just blind when I was playing all the other times. Oh, she's got the stupid washing dishes glitch. Oh, lovely. Alrighty. So, maybe she's pregnant. Yay! The last baby in my orphanage is now a toddler, which means there's now five toddlers in that orphanage. Yeah. Um, contortionist kiss. Nice. I don't know 
know why it seems like my game is so quiet. It's probably because my air conditioner is on, so it's really hard for me to hear it. But I do have it turned down on the stream so it doesn't like overpower my speaking. <laughs> Alright, so he should be going to work soon. And she should be uh, an hour after him. Once again, the washing dishes glitch. I don't know why. A lot of my houses are having this weird glitch where they keep trying to wash dishes that do not exist. I wish I knew how to fix it. It probably has something to do with custom content. You see what she's doing? She's sitting here and trying to constantly wash dishes. It's a little ridiculous. Uh, fine. I'm going to have to tell you to do something so you stop trying to wash invisible dishes, aren't I? She's leaving soon anyway. So, she's going to work, I believe, an hour after he starts, she starts. Okay, get your points, thank you. 12.55. But yeah, so, we'll see if she's pregnant this time, since that's what everybody wants, is lots and lots of kids. Mm, yay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my other houses have kids. Well three of five have kids. Walk on all the way over there again to try to wash dishes. She wants to dance, so I guess we'll turn on the stereo so she can do that on her own. But she's actually now trying to turn up the volume. I think it's up already, though. Yeah. She's going to work anyway. I think they get done at the same time, actually. Charity organizer <laughs> or politician? <laughs> well, he's supposed to be a noble, so let's take a wild guess. Um, charity organizer. Use your political prowess for the greater good. Raise money and fund a solution for the cause you support. Or, politician. Secure votes, give speeches, and become the national leader. Better brush up on your public policy. Yep, of course, the politician makes more. I was going to say, charity organizer probably shouldn't make much money at all. But anyway politician fits noble better, so we'll do that. So he's going to be a civil servant now. Alright. Promoted to civil servant. Avalar has been promoted to civil servant. So he's received the following bonus. $518. Promote policies interaction. Secure vote interaction. Make empty promises interaction. Ask for small, large bribe interaction. Oh, you dirty, dirty politician. Oh, that's funny. So let's see what it actually says in his thing. Well, he needs to go eat anyway, but let's see what it actually says in this. The civil servant is the first step in a true politician's career. Promote policies and secure votes to succeed and move up the political ladder. So he is 8 to 4, Monday through Friday now. So they both work Monday through Friday. But he works an hour earlier and an hour later than her. He needs one more charisma, secure two votes. Secure votes while socializing with her sims. Oh, good luck. Good luck, buddy. My goodness. Who are you? Are you somebody I know? No. Alright. So let's get back to her. Would you please go in the house instead of standing out in the street like some crazy homeless person? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, since he got promoted to a branch, that's kind of an important promotion, I guess we'll save. And she's a clickbait writer, and he <laughs> he's a civil servant. Hmm. We, we won't mention the uh, irony of that situation. Alright, try to calm yourself down and be friendly and chat. And she could be pregnant. She's not showing any signs yet, though, so probably not. Okay. Apparently she really likes standing out here, so I guess I'm going to tell her to do something. You usually don't tell them to do stuff, but when they stand around not doing anything, 
So their bills were what, thirty-five twenty per week? So yeah, it's gonna be a while till we get the servants' quarters in the butler. Because that's a bit pricey. Okay. While you're doing that, we'll fast forward. But yeah, they're pretty much working almost the same schedule. A couple hours difference, that's about it. Why are you tired at 4 30 afternoon? Oh, that's right, you've been up since 1 15. So they've taken a nap. Go. Go, go, go. He's crying at some movie. Be mischievous, join a club gathering, watch the World Culture Network. So, turn that on. And then start our club gathering. Okay. So be mischievous to read the vampire book. Get points for his uh, watching whatever he's watching. Oh yeah, and he needs to like secure votes from these people. So hurry up and get your points, bud. Thank you. All right, Lord Holt, are you going to vote for Lord Briar? That's actually the typical politician's expression, I think. <laughs> All right, please stop watching that. You need to go secure votes. Oh, nice of you to show up this time, Amabel. Okay. Let's see if he can secure two votes. Because I can only really do that when there's other people around, so I guess I'll have him do that. Andre is unconvinced that Avalar will make a good community leader and refuses to vote for him in the upcoming election. Try promote policies or make empty promises to increase the likelihood of securing a vote. Seriously, man? It's like a game within a game now. policies, I guess we'll try. So, we thought it was a club gathering, but really, apparently, it's a campaign. And there seems really receptive when Abelard promoted his policies. Political action should be easier at this sim now. Okay, cool. wish, like, I didn't have to go through so many menus to get to this political crap. Okay, so, why isn't secure vote, like, there <laughs> anymore? Where'd it go? I don't know. It seems to have left. Because it wasn't under um, political career for some reason. Okay. It's so weird. It's not there anymore. Can you only try that once a day? On a certain sim? Is that it? so strange. It was there and now it's not. Alright. We'll try Lady Dryland since she's technically in charge of her house. Apparently, apparently going... Oh, okay. It's either there for her. I don't know. It's a little weird. Annabelle, Annabelle is unconvinced that Abelard will make a good community leader. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm unconvinced too, but still. <laughs> now he's tired. Giving up so soon, buddy. So he can go take a nap. She's awake now anyway. 
Okay, this chick's not going to try to force you to vote for her, so you guys can all relax now. He's going to take a nap. Don't have to deal with the annoying politician anymore. Yeah, I wasn't even going to bother with that stuff, but you can only really do that when other people are around, so... And she's hungry. Why do you not know where your, um... Where your, refriger where your refrigerator is anymore? A little strange girl. Mm -hmm. I thought Melody meant by, but apparently not. Simlish has changed since Sims 3. Beating up the poor refrigerator because you're tense all the time. I don't know why she's so worried about her husband. He's a politician. None of them would ever cheat on their wives. <laughs> Pardon me while I choke on that one. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so she can't really do any of this other stuff right now. I mean, she could take a mud bath. Or take a bath, but she doesn't really need to take a bath. So I'm not going to make her. Alright. So while she's eating, we'll fast forward and see what she does. But yeah, they both have pretty similar schedules now. Monday through Friday, day shift. I really should be watching the door, too, because people just show up like Katrina. <laughs> okay. You sure you want to come in here? We've got an annoying politician trying to get everybody to vote for him. He's asleep now, though, so you're safe for a few. She should do that on her own. She doesn't want to anymore anyway. Vent. Well, we'll see. Oh, Andrew's just standing there. Go vent at him. Seriously, should be watching the door, but there's actual people inside to pay attention to now, so. update her status, but apparently she does do that autonomously. Learn something new, even after playing Sims forever. But then again, I haven't really played the social media career that often. Played it for like the first couple levels a while ago, but... Technically, Lord Briar should be the leader of the club, but... Amabel got there first. At least she's in the politics career too, I think. She's the leader of her house because she's older than Andrew. Katrina trying to nose her way in to the nobility. Katrina and her 900 kids. But, you know, she's got seven kids with her husband and he's got 30 kids in the rest of the town. I said before, he's like the Robert Baratheon of Dorne. <laughs> I'm afraid for her kids. They seriously can't date anybody in town because they're related to everybody. <laughs> anyway. Propose crazy scheme. I guess she can do that. Never mind. She just wants to vent again now. I really don't like them moving my friendly interaction around. I'm used to it always being at the top. Girl, you change your mind so much. I'm not even gonna try to do the first one anymore. You change your mind too much. By the time I get through the menu, you're like, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. Asana. Huh? Yeah, the holds of Asana. 
but you guys have a lot of bills. <laughs> so. Not gonna happen anytime soon, darling. Because I think the next thing we're gonna do is the servants' quarters. And I'll probably wait till I have at least at least four thousand dollars or so before I start on that. Since their bills are thirty five hundred. I like her shoes, but I'm not sure about the orange heels. I mean, I guess maybe they're supposed to be... I don't know. They could be a different color. They look kind of orange at times. They like a, I love Alisanne's shoes, though. Just gets the neighborhood changes. Yeah, Briar's now a politician. It's a pretty big change, dude. <laughs> oh, and speaking of Babylar, he's awake again. She loves the outdoors. Which is the, um, the trait she automatically got when she aged up to a young adult when I wasn't playing her. <laughs> now how she knows about her. Just loves the outdoors. Good friends. Yeah. I love how they praise vampires one second and the next second they're like, I'm scared of vampires. I was gonna make her text somebody, but like I said, the first thing is like, it's pointless because it changes like every few seconds. I think that's because of the convivial lot trait. Every time they're talking to people, they get confident. So whatever else gets cancelled out. So it's really hard in this house to have them do their first thing. Because it changes every time they talk to somebody. She's confident, but she's sharing her insecurities. screensaver on my TV came on, I keep seeing like it out of the corner of my eye because I had something on pause. And I'm like, did it on pause? But now it's just the screensaver. So I always leave the TV on mute so I can see color ID since I have the ringer off on the phone. But anyway. See, now calling something is something I don't generally do autonomously, but I said it changes every two seconds with this house. Well, no wonder her and Alison are good friends, they just ignore everybody else. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Katrina over there, trying to pretend she's nobility. Not quite, baby. Are you trying to wash dishes again? Ugh. Girl, you gotta stop that. Now she's gonna go do something else good. It's apparently a dance party, not a club gathering. Andrew's also got the wash dishes glitch. Eleanor, Allison, and Andrew all have it, I think. I don't know why, but it's a little weird. I was just having a fit because Evelyn's speaking to Katrina. Katrina, with seven kids and a husband with another 30 kids. Oh, Katrina is hot headed too. Don't know what that error was. See, now, if I didn't have MC Command Center, the game probably would have crashed. So I'm going to save, because I don't know what caused that error. It's a little weird. Okay, now she's tired. So I think we're going to end the club gathering and have her go to bed. Yeah, Katrina, you should get going. Bye. Silver screen masterpiece from watching a movie. Bravo, how fortuitous that we bear witness to this pinnacle of the medium. Okay. Buy an easel. Huh. Normally when they want to buy little things like that, I do buy them. <laughs> but their bills are so high. I think 
we'll wait a bit before we do that. Alright, so what does he need to do? Since she's asleep and they're all gone... Is he carrying around any weird stuff? Yes. Oh, they did have the vampire book. Look at that. Maybe he was just hiding it in his inventory. But anyway, um, let's see. He needs one more in charisma and to secure two votes. Yeah, that is appearing to be a little bit difficult, buddy. Oh, look, Andrew's still here. Is Andrew old enough to vote yet? <laughs> I thought they were all gone. Let's try it, since he's still here. Or is he? Did he just leave? I guess he left. You gonna secure a vote through text? <laughs> but yeah, he needs another charisma point. your speech, bud. Since there's really nothing else you can do at the moment because everybody's gone or asleep. So we'll fast forward till he gets his charisma point. How close is he even? Not close. 24%. <laughs> Seven in fishing. Dang. Oh, now he's hungry. Alright, go eat. Give him a podium. He's got interactions with the podium too, I think. But having a podium in your house is a little weird. But then again, when you're nobles, I guess it isn't that weird. <laughs> so, plus, they have no money right now, anyhow, so. Won't be doing that just yet. So, yeah, you usually do get them the easel when they want it, but right now, money's a problem. Yeah, and I know you can make money with the easel. A lot of money. But, painting's not really. The thing I was planning for either of them, but hey, maybe at some point. I don't know. So how much does he make now? Eight to four. I don't even remember where to find that. Oh, there it is. Sixty-five dollars an hour. Eight hours. So six times eight. So that's some weird like oh that's an insider animation, that's what that is. Okay. It's like what are you doing? Okay. Apparently she made those too. She just went to the park and went on a cooking spray or something, I don't know. 3.30 in the morning, you should probably go to bed. Considering you both have work in like four or five hours. Alrighty. So I don't think she's pregnant this time either. So maybe the pregnancy chance does affect the active sims. I thought it only affected the inactive sims, but you know, whatever. I'm the only simmer on the planet who doesn't think that Everything in the game is about babies, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's it's ironic because this is nobility, and obviously they are all about heirs, but that's not the way I generally play. Okay. So, she still needs to update her status, and get another comedy or mischief skill, but she also needs to eat. you're having so much fun in there, hon. Yeah, go eat. Okay, I think it's the first time I've seen her in that outfit. Alright, so she's got two hours. I just find it funny that a clickbait writer and a politician are married because I can just imagine like you clicking on something 
and then it being like, hey, vote for this dude. <laughs> you know, politicians have a reputation for not exactly um, being what they seem, and that's like the definition of clickbait, so, yeah. Alright. Pester someone? Yeah. Oh, look, he's awake now. Would you stop calling me? I know he's got work. Hush yourself, game. She was going to update her status, but he's awake and on the computer, so I guess not. Although, like, the daily task isn't really that important. Can she do that on her phone? <laughs> she should be able to, but, you know, that would be logic. Respond to Mel? Alright, that's different. I must do something with her job. open place. Take selfie, browse web. Why is like take selfie and browse web on the phone but not social media status? Whatever. Okay, anyway. Yeah, normally when they want to do something and there's nobody around, I invite somebody over. She's going to be leaving soon anyway, so. Won't really matter. Alrighty, so she's gotta go to work. Um, you don't have time to do that. Alright, you can try. Actually, no, you can't, because you gotta go to the bathroom, and then you gotta go to work. And for some reason, every time they're trolling the forums, it usually takes them an hour to actually do something else when you tell them to. They have to stare at the screen for like seven hours before they get out. It's weird. Come on, let's go. See? See what I mean? I told her how long ago now to go to the bathroom and she's still staring at the screen. Come on, go, go, go. You better hurry, girl. You're already late for work. You know, writing clickbait is a very important job. Better hurry. But yeah, I could just see her, like, writing something that's about something completely different, and when you go to it, it's like, vote for Apple or Briar, blah, blah, blah. I could see it. Or maybe not, they have no heirs, because so if he, like, disappears, she'll get to be in charge. Child, Clyde Ogle, the little brother of, and the little sister of a sin they no longer play, and another one, and they had triplets apparently. <laughs> Alright, so she be home. She has forbidden words, start a club gathering, buy a toy. Well, only one of those makes any sense right now. So I guess we'll do that. Wow, you just materialized. That's a neat trick. Oh, they're all just appearing out of nowhere. But yeah, they almost have enough for another club perk. Any more of them are just going to magically appear on the street next to her. That's pretty interesting. Okay. <laughs> There's one. It's like some sci-fi movie just magically appear. Alright. <laughs> another one. She's so tense. Who's this little blue-haired kid trying to come to our club gathering? Who are you, blue-haired kid? Why are you at our house? Do I know you? Mariah Baines. <clears throat> the child of a... 
Katrina and her husband who's got 700 kids right now. Yeah, if I clicked on this girl's family tree, it'd be like 900 people. It's a little insane. So he makes 520 a day. Can you see what she made? It was less than 174. So they're bringing in about 700 a day. And they're 900. Yeah, 900 short, or no, 1100. 1100 short for the bills right now. Alright, I'm kind of mid to in now that he's back. Dude, you need to like go get in the shower. Can we like not have the club gathering out in the middle of the street, please? <laughs> Apparently they want to have it in the middle of the street. Whatever. Across the street is actually House Brook. Alice Ann and Adam's house. Nine hundred people here. She's gonna go watch TV. What a hostess. Adam's coming over to talk to her. Stranger danger. Really? They're here almost every day, babe. I guess she's afraid of the little blue-haired kid. That's a jealous one. Why are you ignoring me? Why are you ignoring me? Uh, I love it when they ignore me. Come on. I don't know. I can't find it now. <laughs> it's not really that important. She usually does that on her own anyway. favorite festivals in town. Blah, 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 blah. We're not going. Hush yourself. There it is. Okay. Alright, she's not doing it. Whatever. She'll usually do it around. Alright, so what club perk can we get? I'll just roll the dice so it's fair. One. Infamous club? Well, aren't we already a uh, famous club? <laughs> or popular club, so I guess we'll skip the top row. High low flip. Unlocks club handshake. High low flip. This will replace any other handshake you've selected. Um, Alright. These are all kind of lame. Um, Actual perks. I guess we could get that, but it's weird. Alright, I want actual perks, not just silly stuff. Funny bonus, I guess we'll get. We'll just go through the whole list. Alright, you need to go eat, babe. It's weird that I can get perks on the other characters, but I can't. <laughs> Put people in and out of the club unless I'm on Amabel. I haven't been on for a while. Oh my goodness. Why am I getting another error? Something weird with the food. Um, eat 
food, babe. Invisible food. Are we gonna get a crash now? Okay. <laughs> that was a weird error. And I don't trust it when I get errors because I'm always afraid I'm gonna crash. So I'm gonna save again. It had something to do with the food. Which is weird. All kinds of weird issues with the kitchens since the toddlers showed up in the game. They ruined everything. The toddlers broke all the kitchens. Alright, share insecurities. Will you please go do that already so we can get out of your queue or your wings or whatever? Friendly. Where are you? I really keeps moving around. I mean, I have to actually read. I can't just memorize it. That's not fair. She's actually here. should be in the club but isn't because we don't know people. Oh, she doesn't like Alice. Oh wow, you're gonna call her anyway. <laughs> gonna call her anyway. Okay, it's been going a little over an hour. Probably gonna go another hour, we'll see. I'm trying to get through all the stuff on my Netflix list. Well, I still have Netflix, which might only be till the end of October, if I can't get to affiliate. So, if you haven't followed me yet on Twitch, <laughs> but seriously, yeah, please follow me on Twitch because I still need another 40 followers before I can get Twitch affiliate and actually keep my electric and my internet on so I can keep streaming and keep making videos. So please help. <laughs> anyway, watch World Cup Network. We'll see if she does anything on her own, first of all. Some bug flying around the room. Keep looking up to make sure it's not a wasp. I really do not like bees. I am not a fan. Okay. Can I actually go do anything now? Oh, you're going to try to wash dishes again. No, you're not. Please stop trying to wash dishes that do not exist. It's really kind of annoying. Eveler's not dressed in his politician gear. Oh, and it's the weekend, so they actually don't have to work for the next two days. Hmm. your own punchline. <laughs> Seriously. It's like, hey honey, my love life sucks. It's like, um, sorry? <laughs> Seriously. That is a weird interaction to have with your spouse. I mean, unless you hate your spouse, then it makes sense. But they supposedly get along. I don't know how I feel about that dress. I'm not really feeling it. I don't like pencil skirts is the problem. 
I said in another video, I, re I like really, really short skirts or really, really long skirts. I don't like the knee-length skirts. I know pencil skirts are in style and everything, but I like Lolita skirts and skater skirts and gothic skirts, but not the little pencil dress. It just makes me feel all office building y. Alright, it is 9 p.m. I guess she can go to bed. Which means we can end the gathering. Avalar, what are you up to? You need to go eat, bud. Bye, all. See ya. Let's see if I can get. Oh, I guess Katrina's still gonna be here. But, um, let's see if I can get the glitch again, because that's always fun. Andre apparently is staying too. There's always seems to be one club person that stays like after the gathering is over. Strange. Okay. 9 30. I probably don't really have to watch the door, but vampires, I suppose, visit at odd hours. I see a deep conversation with Katrina. But yeah, she's got like. I think like seven freaking kids now. Yeah, seven kids. That's ridiculous, man. And this dude, her husband, he's got 37 kids or so. I'm approximating, but still. Why are you so chatty with Katrina? Oh, I guess they're friends. Don't know when that happened. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. I should watch the door. In case of vampire visitation. And he wants to meet someone new. Well, we gotta find somebody new before you can meet somebody new. I mean, technically I could just <laughs> summon someone. Because I've got a mod and I can do things like that. He doesn't want me to be new anymore. That's right. Anytime they're talking to people, their winds are going to change every two seconds. Okay. Apparently during the last club gathering he just spent the whole time talking to Katrina because they're friends apparently. Even though she's small folk. Lowborn, if you will. Although she's probably gonna leave soon. She's been here a while. Why are you so confident, Katrina? You really shouldn't be confident. <laughs> Considering the crazy psycho you're married to. Now he's tired. Alright. Have him go to bed. Go back to Eleanor. She's gonna go to the bathroom. We'll let her be for now, but when it goes orange, she's getting her butt up. Yeah, make yourself at home, Katrina. So I have to manually fast forward because I love that. Okay, now she's leaving. Good. Alright, you gotta get up, babe. You gotta get up. Yes, it's only 1 a.m., but you went to bed too freaking early. Again, as always. So once again, she's awake at 1am because she goes to bed way too freaking early because she's always tired way too freaking early. <laughs> Watch World Culture Network chat with Mabel. Well, right now, why don't you just work on finishing your crackers? And maybe if Mabel's online, you can chat with her. <laughs> try not to glitch out the food again, babe, while you're there. Please, for me. Kind of tired of glitches. Oh yeah, that's another thing she can do is, um, her social media stuffs. Annabelle, are you online? Yes, she is. Okay. I don't know what that glitch was with the food. But, thank goodness for my mod, or else it would have crashed. <laughs> I'm 
something that would have been unpleasant, to put it mildly. Once again, up way too early, girl. But I don't let them, like, stay in bed if they got, like, motos in the orange. It just isn't practical. Okay. Now, hopefully she'll actually get credit for talking to her on the computer. Because I don't know why half the time when they talk to people on the computer it counts for the chat whims, and half the time it doesn't. Once again, she's almost fully rested. Two in the morning. At least she's off for the next two days. I'll fast forward and see if she actually gets her points for chatting. And what does she need to do? Another comedy point and update her status. Mm -hmm. Or mischief point, I suppose. she calls her, she'll be like, I'm asleep. It's like, really? Because I was just talking to you online three seconds ago, but sure, you're asleep. Because Max just thinks everybody sleeps at the exact same time. <laughs> My goodness, girl, get your points. Yep, she's already doing something else. She did not get points for chatting with her online. Oh, but she did get another mischief point. Which is another thing she needs to do. Yep. Dancing is not something you need to do, dear. Scare someone. Call someone on the phone. Well, just update your status real quick, because that takes like three seconds. If I could click on the computer. Okay. Yeah, go do that. Get it out of the way. And then you can work on your comedy points since there's really nothing else you can do right now since he's asleep and it's too late to call anybody. <laughs> so after she's done updating her status, I guess we'll have her watch comedy and see if she can get that last point she needs. I don't know, I can't read today. I know it's in the first list. Alright, so anyway, Eleanor gained a few followers while updating her media status. She now, she's gained 25 followers, she now has 130 followers in total. Alright. Now if you can get them all to follow me on Twitch, <laughs> we'd be hitting somewhere. Alright, what's your deal, dud, buddy? Come on. Go to the bathroom now, then you can go eat. Probably gonna go another 45 minutes, but we shall see. Alright, so I told him to go eat. Hopefully he won't glitch out. So, let's see. One more comedy point. And one more mischief point, I too. I think she's one off each, yeah. Hopefully he doesn't glitch out when he touches the food like she did. <laughs> Don't know why I'm getting these strange and random glitches. Oh, he's going to come in here. At least he waited till like 5 to get up, so <laughs> a little closer to his actual work schedule. But they're off since it's the weekend anyway, so. Auto save. Where are you going? What are you doing? Once again, you're trying to wash dishes that do not exist. Actually, she's hungry again. Alright, she's going to go get food on her own. No, no, she's not. She's going to go wash actual dishes after the invisible ones didn't work out, apparently. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Yeah, three of my sims now have that weird glitch where they keep trying to wash dishes when there aren't any. You're gonna be jealous when you're like sitting right next to him. Okay, hon. Alright. 
scares me. Peas and a grilled cheese sandwich. One of these things is more tasty than the other. But anyway, I mean, I have nothing against peas, but not really a meal, I don't think. More of a side dish. Not that grilled cheese is a huge meal, but if I were to choose between the two, I'd go for the grilled cheese. <laughs> gossiping. They're gossiping. Hey, Perp, what's up? Oh, my. Back in my first house again. They finally consummated their marriage, but still no little brats. I mean, lovely children. gotten some promotions and stuff this stream, so they've accomplished something. They still don't have to pay their bills, though. <laughs> so. Sure. I, I miss everybody that's actually actually following me, because I am seriously in need of followers right now. So I'm very grateful for the few I do have, because if I can't get, it, get the other 40 followers, I'm probably not going to be able to stream or anything after the end of October. So, I really kind of need them. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys doing? They're just having a lovely chat. Alright. She's still got the stupid washing dishes glitch too. There's actual dishes, but she keeps trying to wash ones that don't exist. I turned up the game volume a little bit. Is it too loud or is it okay still? Hey, she's doing actual dishes. Yes, he is still in that club, but he's also in my club. So, he doesn't really talk to his other club anymore. <laughs> Mainly when they have club gatherings, I invite over um, my club that I made for my sims. So, but he is still in the <laughs> stupid club with the armor. I got like wires in my way here. I was trying to hit like the fast forward button. I've got wires hanging on the keyboard. But yeah, it took them like 80 some days, but they finally uh, consummated their marriage. They've been together twice, but still no, no lovely little bundles of torture. But <laughs> I love children, really. <laughs> okay. What are you complaining about, girl? Oh, she's squeamish. She's complaining about doing dishes, right? Seriously? Seriously, girl? That's not a valid complaint. Just saying. Yeah, dishes are boring and annoying, but you don't have to flip out about them. She is loving trolling the forum. She does need one more mischief point for her job. But, you know. Trolling is something I do not look kindly upon. I do not approve, Eleanor. <laughs> so, we'll fast forward while she does that. But yeah, they're... It's the weekend. They're both actually working Monday through Friday now. Because she's now a clickbait writer. And he's a civil servant. So every time their friends come over, he keeps bugging them to try to get him, get them to vote for him. And it's not going well. Imagine that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're your friends, but we're not going to vote for you. Sorry, bud. Okay. Get your point, girl, so you can stop playing on the forums. But yeah, I don't generally care that much about getting them promoted, because like I said, I've got really long lifespans, so if it happens, it happens. If they're not doing anything, then I'll have them do their job stuff. But she's like level 3, I think? And he's level 5 in his career. But she's been up since 1, so I'm sure she'll be complaining soon about wanting to go to sleep again. Because apparently, according to Maxis, you can only be awake for about eight hours before you need a nap. I did not know this rule, but apparently it's true. Who 
just calling him and why. No, we're not doing any load screens. Bye bye. Cleaning out spoiled food. Okay, try not to glitch again. I've also been getting these weird errors. It's very weird. Like she was just trying to like eat some food or something and I got some weird error. So, one of these days, I'm going to have to sort through my custom content, but right now, I just don't have the time or the energy to do that, because I've got a lot of custom content. Do an impression. Watch World Culture Network. Well, if you're watching TV anyway, please watch the one you get points for. Never mind, you're gonna get up. Alright, cool. Go dance to my non-custom music. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I don't. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah, I had to take out all the custom music because stupid copyright BS. Okay. You guys are just going to have a dance party here. We'll fast forward again. What are you doing? Uh oh, they're flirting. What will happen? Outrageous story. What, a politician is saying something outrageous? No. Would that happen? <laughs> okay. Gotta also watch the door, because it's the weekend and every sim in town shows up at the door on the weekends. Probably gonna go about another half hour. I started about an hour and a half ago. Okay. See, like when they're both home, I usually don't mess with them because, yeah, who knows what they'll do if I don't sit there and tell them what to do. Apparently she still hasn't found out about him asking her friend Alison out on a date, because they're still getting along pretty well. <laughs> so, anyway. Of course Alison said no, but still. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> anyway. Having a deep conversation about tombstones, apparently. Alright. They're having quite the chat here. Still. Uh oh, she got closer. What's gonna happen now? It's anybody's guess. Alrighty. Apparently that was something she wanted to do. I don't know. Watch World Culture Network, search for vampire information. Make a friend. Just a conversation. All right. If you say so, okay. See, there is stuff she wants to do, but like I said, I usually don't tell them to do stuff when they're both like home and conscious because that's the only time they really can socialize with each other. And I don't like to control the relationship, so I like just let them happen, however they may happen. Well, she's definitely following them around the house, though. Alright. And there's some kid at the door. Who are you, kid? Oh, that is the child of one of my old houses. And now she has to go to the bathroom, too. But yeah, I don't think she's pregnant, because it's been a couple days. At least a day and a half. Yeah, this kid is the child of one of the houses I used to play. 
I do not approve of the, the green, the green clothes, the just telling you get green is not up there. Late select. I like, can stand emerald green, but I just like the later green. <laughs> like the lime, lime green color. Meh. Okay, Alexander. That's great. Are you a secret Targaryen, Alexander? The hair has me curious. Because <laughs> you know, everybody's a secret Targaryen. I can think of at least four. <laughs> Five, maybe. And that's in the actual show. Alright, let's see. She wants to watch stuff. Hasn't she already done the vampire information thing? They already have the vampire book. I actually think they have two of the vampire books. Andrew Dryland is age up to an adult. Wow, Lord Dryland is now out of high school. Now, do they have two of these vampire books? I think they might. Because I bought them one. They've got two point farmer books. That's weird. Yeah, but I bought them one. And, um... He had it in his inventory, and I thought it was in the bookshelf. But apparently, I only got one. Unless they're just sitting around in the house somewhere, or back in his inventory again. Who knows? Seriously, this kid looks like he could be a Targaryen, except for the demon eyes. Yeah, I don't know why. All of my kids that have been born in the game lately have demon eyes. It's very upsetting. Like as soon as they age up to toddler. The game gives them demon eyes, no matter what color their parents' eyes are. It's weird. I don't like it. We've got a possession epidemic happening in this game. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I guess his eyes are maybe just a really, really light blue. But... They look a little... Off-putting. Chandler Rose is aged up to child. Franklin Rose is aged up to child. Maybe all the children are becoming White Walkers because you know, you know what happened with the wall. So we're just looking ahead in time instead of back in time. We thought we were in the past, we're really in the future, and all the children have become White Walkers. Since Craster's no longer giving them any kids, they're just taking all the other ones now. It's my theory and I'm going to stick to it. <laughs> Surprised there's not anybody else at the door yet. I missed like half the people at the door. Oh, there is somebody at the door. I just can't see. Thomas Lemon. Team. Yep, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. She's tired. Because she's been up too long. Okay. Now go take your nap, Eleanor, dearling. Darling, I can't talk. Apparently, this Alexander kid is a wonderfully exciting conversationalist. She just can't tear herself away. Maybe he is a Targaryen. He's <laughs> like, yeah, did you hear what my relatives did? They don't even know they're related. Oh, wait, that's a Targaryen thing anyway, isn't it? Okay, anyway. Uh, kiss Eleanor. Join a club gathering. You should probably say hi to these people that are in your house. I guess you already said hi to the kid. Start a club gathering. Okay. Okay. Of course, he decided he wanted to meet someone new one second after he introduced himself to someone new. Typical. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, yeah. Probably another half hour or so in this stream. We shall see. Okay, club. Apparently the club is gathering out on the street again. Oh, that's one of the people from the asylum challenge. Great, we've got a crazy person at our door. And I thought this was the Targaryen. I'm joking, I like the Targaryens. And I'd just about go off on anybody who 
accuses Danny of being crazy. But anyway. <laughs> Alright. Why are you not doing what I tell you? Again. But yeah, that, that dude with the dreads is um, somebody from the Asylum Challenge. So that's exactly the kind of person you want to invite into your house. A crazy person. <laughs> you know who I haven't seen wondering about is um, a girl who I have running a retail store. I've never actually done retail before in the game. And I started it a few weeks ago for the first time ever. It wasn't bad. But I haven't seen her show up anywhere. What are you staring at them for? Eat your yogurt. Why are you not eating? Okay, why are you not eating? Seriously, why are you not eating? No, eat the yogurt. Okay, do we got some other glitch happening again? Come on. Eat your food. Oh gosh, I don't know what is going on in this place. It appears that he is glitched again. Alright, let's try this. Okay, go to the bathroom, please. And then eat your yogurt. Yeah, I'm getting all kinds of weird glitches with the um, food, and thank you for fixing our stereo, Amabel. Try not to die. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm getting very weird glitches with the food. Alright, Eleanor is awake again, and she's trying to make food, so we'll see how that works out. As I said, I keep getting weird food glitches. Faux BLT. Alright, now Avalar, please actually eat your food this time. Wow, she's getting fancy with the cooking. It's five in cooking now. Okay, he's carrying his yogurt around. Will he actually eat it? It's a great mystery of Simstros. Will he actually eat the yogurt or will he just glitch out and stare at the wall again? Oh, looks like he's actually eating it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Who says Westeros isn't dramatic? And again, she wants to specifically interact with Amabel. Not be mischievous, huh? Fake bad news. Because, you know, nothing bad ever happens in, um, Westeros. Or Simstros, as is more accurate. And again, she just set down her food. Is this table glitch? <laughs> what is going on? You keep, like, making food and not eating it. I could have swore I saw them eat that table before, but maybe I imagined it. Okay. Where the- Amabel, aren't you just up here hanging out in the bathroom with like five other people? Because that's normal. Okay, good. Take your food. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with the food. I'm getting so- such weird food glitches. Apparently I clicked on Alison, not Amabel. I don't know. So let's try clicking on her now. She did not like that. Alison did not like the fake bad news. Alright. So she's got like six people she's supposedly talking to right now. Are we counting all the Maximilian's personalities? What? Alright, anyway. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh my. I don't know why. She 
is taking so long to do what I tell her to do. Alright. You know, I could have you killed. I'm a noble and you are lowborn. Give me a rude introduction. Okay, I've told her 15 times to go and do this mischief to Amabel thing that she wants to do, and she's just totally ignoring me. What is the club points right now? 611. That mirror is in a bad place right now. I can't really see if I turn the camera the way I want to turn it. Okay, she finally actually did it. Scare someone. We should be scared today. Oh, well, let's scare the insane guy. That, that seems like a safe thing to do. Let's do that. <laughs> right? That seems perfectly safe. He won't go off and try to kill everybody. Not at all. <laughs> She's taking so long to do anything I tell her, and this dude is literally standing in the sink. Okay, cool. It's a valid life choice, standing in the sink. Maybe if they weren't all like packed into like a two by three bathroom, things would be going a little smoother and she'd actually be doing the stuff I tell her to do. <laughs> They're all like stuck, they can't do anything. Because they can't move. <laughs> and now he's leaving. Alright. Guess we won't be scaring him. She still wants to scare somebody. Let's scare Aegon. Yeah, let's do that. Apparently she can't scare Aegon. <laughs> I don't know why she can't scare him. Alright, Annabelle, since you're the one standing here, you get to be the victim. She takes mischief a little better than Alisanne, it looks like. Hey, mischief level three, yay. So she's got everything she needs for her promotion now. Alright. The Annabelle likes being scared and mischiefed. That's a word, right? Because now they're good friends and they're hugging. It's like, yeah. Be mischievous to me more often. I like it. Okay, Annabelle. Whatever, babe. Alisan didn't like it. And Alisan's good friends with her. Let's see. Annabelle. Annabelle's also good friends with her. Do do. Alisanne's kids are in elementary school. I think Annabelle's might still be a toddler. I don't know. I've lost track. But yeah, we're probably gonna stop in 10 15 minutes. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Not that there's anything here to eat, but you know, I gotta pretend. all day too. Well, that's right. And Andrew is now a young adult. So I don't think I, I, I think Alice Brownhill is the only teen I still have left. And she should be aging up really soon. But Ellison and Adam's kids are grade school kids, so they'll be teens soon enough. But 
Yeah, I haven't played them since they were born. <laughs> Last time I played the Brook House was when she was in her second trimester. And then I hopped in real quick to name their kids, and I haven't been back since. So I managed to skip the whole baby and toddler thing. Which is great, because I really didn't want to deal with three babies and three toddlers. Which also means there's absolutely no furniture in their house for those kids. But hey, we'll get there when we get there, right? She should be ready to go to bed soon. So that's when we'll end the gathering, I guess. How many points do we have now? 74. Yeah. I'm trying to move stuff and it's falling down. Probably should be watching the door. Poor Alice, maybe she showed up and we all ignored her. Even though she should be in the club, but we don't have enough people. Because Maxis hates us. But anyway. <laughs> Alright. She's ready to go to bed now. Okay. Go to sleep, dear. Abelard's already in bed. Let's check on him. He's going to be hungry soon. So that was their Saturday, and somebody broke a freaking computer. That's not cool. Okay, anyway. Lots of chatting, not much else going on that Saturday, but... Sergio Pancakes has aged up to child. Now he's hungry. At one in the morning. So after he's done eating, I'm gonna try to get him to fix the computer and hopefully he won't die. So he needs one more charisma point and to secure two votes. Yeah, he's never gonna get promoted. <laughs> Securing votes is rough, man. It is really rough. Plus, I don't usually play him that often anyway, so, you know. He's kind of handicapped there. <laughs> but then again, House Briar is not that major of a house. They're technically, the extinct house, I don't know if they were like super important in the past, but probably not, because we haven't heard that much about them, but they are an extinct house, technically. But they're not, like, a, a great house, you know, like, the ones that actually run the entire um, kingdom they're from, like, you know, the Starks in the north, and the Aarons in the Vale, and the Tullys in the Riverlands, and etc, etc. So, they're not, like, one of those houses, so. If he never gets above civil server, oh well. Cooking level 5. Alright. What is his skills? Charisma 4, Comedy 3, Cooking 5, Dancing 2, Fishing 7, Fitness 2, Handiness 1, Mischief 1, Parenting 2, because when she was a teenager, Vampire 2, and Video Gaming 4. Alright, so. Do you need to get him a Charisma point? So, where's it? His daily task and his, um, goals for promotion or the same thing. That usually does not happen. So, you were supposed to finish your food first. Why is this TV still on? <laughs> That's weird. They almost always turn it off. Alright, try not to get electrocuted, buddy. So I think... Next time it saves is probably when I'll um, end the stream. I'll just wait for it to autosave, because it usually does that every 11 sim hours since my last save, anyway. And miss level 2! Okay, good for you. And then we can try to get a miss charisma point, because the securing votes thing, I just doubt that will ever happen. it faster. He's not feeling inspired at all about this thing. <laughs> That's weird. This is supposed to make them inspired or something, isn't it? Alright. Scavenge for parts. Then you can go work on your speech. Since that takes forever. 
Oh, there's the save. Look at that. Alright, so since it's been about two hours, just about, I guess I'll end it here, and I will try to stream again tomorrow, but we shall see what happens, because i got to make some phone calls and crap tomorrow, and if they go badly, I may not feel like streaming, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, um, thank you for watching. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, please like so other people can find the channel, and most importantly, please, 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 please go to my Twitch channel and follow me there because I need another 40 followers before I can get Twitch affiliate and actually start taking subscriptions and stuff like that. So please, the link will be in the description and I don't, you don't even have to watch me on Twitch. You can just stick with YouTube, but I just need the followers on Twitch so I can get that. So please do that. Please, please, please. And thank you. And I will see you in the next stream. Bye, everybody.